I'm awake. Where are we? Steinbeck, Barossa Valley. Oh. oh, you're not still sore at me. It was only money. Half of it was mine, and you blew it. I speculated. We could have made a fortune. That nag was supposed to be a certainty. Fourth in a four-horse race. Everyone has an off day. Where are you going? to see if there's any work. Hang on, don't rush. We've had a long, thirsty drive. We'd better have a beer. You stay here and stay out of the pub. We can't afford to bail you out if you get arrested for vagrancy. Or at least I don't look like the hairy end of a mop. Why don't you see a barber? Get an estimate. Looking for a job? Yes. Try Benson's Vineyard. Any good? They pay the best wages. Not that money's everything. Yeah, I know, but it's a good start. Well, come and try it then. Four miles out of town on the road to Orlando. I work there, by the way. Yes, I've got that. Well, I'll keep a lookout. Hope you make it. Got that. Where the hell did you get that gear? Hmm. Not bad, eh? I decided to change my image. Charlie, where did the money come from? I'll have you know that this was legitimately purchased at Steinbeck's Men's Emporium. How? Well, I had a few bucks put away for a rainy day. Decided it ain't gonna rain. You said we were broke. We are, now. Nah. Well, that does it. Brilliant. 
You couldn't drive a tack into a watermelon. I'll get lost. Irresponsible. A bloody delinquent. Watch it, Sonny. Have a bit of respect for the grown-ups. Respect for you? A man can't let you out of his sight. You're a case of arrested development. Right. Pull up. You heard me. Bung on the brake. Now what? Now I'm off. Now don't be an old goat. I resent the word old. And what's more, I get along fine before you turn up, and I'll get along fine after you go. Now, wait a minute, Grandfather. Don't you grandfather me. You make your own arrangements. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Well, go on. Beat it. Push off. You wouldn't last five minutes. I lasted 58 years before I got stuck with you. Well, if that's how you feel, ta-da! Done, boy. Come here, Bruno. Setz dich. Setz dich, Bruno. Guten Tag. Hello. Oh, you speak English. I was born here. It's the dog who speaks German. I see. Is he uh, safe? Perfectly. Bruno wouldn't have a fly. Maybe not a fly, but uh, what does he think about me? I don't think I'd do that. Oh, I'm just showing him that I'm not scared, that's all. Friends, Bruno? Bruno, Bruno, down! Hey! Yeah, what do you want? Mr. Benson? Yeah. My name's Pete Jarrett. Yeah, so what? Oh, I was told you'd have a job here. Hello there. This is Mr. Benson. Fran Benson. Glad you could make it. He wants a job. Fine, he can start right away. My brother takes people on their face value. I like them to prove themselves. The trouble with most young kids today, they're either pacifists or uh, pansies. You know what you can do with your job, don't you? Thanks, just the same. What's the matter with you? I sent Carol into town to find someone. You found a sensitive one. If he's a no-hoper, remember it was your idea. Hey, kid. Just this. Look, we get all kinds of you. No-hopers, bludgers. Forget what it is. Sure, we got a job. We take top whack, 120 in feet. Okay. Good, fine. 
Carol will show you where to put your things. Funny fella. Otto, he's a creep. Come on, there's that next to mine. Come on, fellas, get him into the crushes. You'll do? We'll see. I'm still in one piece. Which is more than I can say for your jacket. My daughter is attempting repairs. Meanwhile, you will join me in a glass of our wine, I hope. Well, I'd be glad to. Fine place you have here. Thank you. I built this house, Mr. Cole. I built it as a replica of the home I lived in when I was a boy in the Rhineland. Uh, you know Germany? Um, not intimately. Would you believe I've been in Australia nearly 40 years, yet every spring at the first budding of the wines, I'm homesick for the use of Kaiserslautern. Well, there's an old saying. A man always has a soft spot for the place where he beds his first girl. Good. I like that. Your health, Mr. Cole. And yours, Mr. Biederhardt. A good drop, this. You know, I... Mm, only after they leave the bottle. <laughs> mm. well, this has a touch of finesse about it. A man who appreciates my wine is a welcome guest. I thought you'd been busy here. Harvest time. We should be. This season we have had our troubles. Labor pulls. Anyone we hire gets a better offer. And we've had a couple of accidents. Last week a hole was drilled in that storage wet. We lost a couple of hundred gallons of young wine. Who do a thing like that? Oh, I know who did it. But proof is a different matter. I've done my best with it, Mr. Cole. Very nice. You must allow me to compensate you for the damage. Oh, oh, I wouldn't hear of it. It's an old suit. I've got plenty more back home. Mr. Cole? Where's home? Uh, up north, Queensland. I've um, got this uh, little property. Oh, really? Yes, well, I'm just doing a trip around the country with my uh, this young relative of mine. I've sent him off to get a job in one of the vineyards, uh, complete his education. You are a property owner, and I was about to offer you a job here. <laughs> what sort of property? Oh, it's a modest little place, uh, sheep and cattle, and uh, sheep and cattle. That's me thinking you might want work. <laughs> Never mind. At least I hope you'll stay for dinner. Oh, well, thank you. I'd be delighted. Very kind of you. That's far enough. Friends? No, family. Get off my place. 
That's not friendly, Uncle Heinrich. We came to make you an offer. Your last chance and you'd better take it. No threats, Otto. A fair price at the place, lock, stock and barrel. Just to show our sincerity, it's in writing. Oh, go to hell. You always were a stubborn old bastard. Mr. Cole. You will stay for dinner, won't you? What? Oh, yes. Thank you. I'd be delighted. Those jokers today. A relative, so Ingrid tells me. Yes. They're the ones be giving you the trouble? I'm afraid it's a feud uh, that goes back a long way. Their name is Benson, or it used to be Biederhardt. Their father and I were brothers. It's a sordid family squabble. I'm sure Mr. Cole doesn't want to hear about it. Why not? I've nothing to be ashamed of. Those boys were brought up to believe I had cheated them out of this place. They think it should be theirs by right. At least they offered to buy you out. They know and you know. I'll never sell. Maybe you should, Father. I might, when it's mine someday. Hear you say you didn't mean that. I'm sure you would, Father. But I don't have the same sentimental attachment for a piece of land that you do. My apologies, then, Walter Sturgis. Didn't hear a thing. My brother and I came out from Germany and we started this vineyard together. We fell in love with the same girl, and she married me. We fought in the courts over this property, and I won. When the war came, he changed his name to Benson. We never spoke again. He's dead now. My wife's dead. It should all be forgotten. But it's not. His sons bought a vineyard down the road, and they want to get their hands on this place. They rip down my name and call it Benson. In a while, it'd be as if I'd never lived here. I'd do anything to prevent that. His vanity, stupid pride to want a name to go on. A bit of pride never hurt. We've all got to go. But if a man can leave his name on bottles of decent wine, at least people will still talk about him when he's six foot under the ground, even if it's only to say, I'll have a half a dozen beat a heart. You'd better stay a while, Charlie. You do me good. Well, if that's unanimous, I'd be happy to give you a hand. We'd be more than pleased, wouldn't we, Ingrid? Seven, then. You'll stay. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
haven't seen you that much. Well, busy time. We're all flat out. Otto says you're doing a good job. He does? Well, if Otto says it, I must be. He and Fallon said to ask you if you'd like to make a couple of hundred dollars extra. Oh, who wouldn't? Well, I'll tell them then. Doing what? It's a sort of bonus job. I'm in it too. I'll say you're interested. Okay, if you're in it, I'm game. How's your back, Mr. Cole? Oh, better. Feel better still if you'd call me Charlie. <laughs> Mind you, I thought that I had trucks and machines to harvest grapes these days. Try telling my father. He says automation bruises the wine and Blastico spoils the bouquet. Everywhere else has been modernized, but he likes it the way it was in Germany in 1930. Then 1930 was a pretty good year. I reckon it boils down to the fact that you're just a pig-headed individual. Am I wrong? Not to my way of thinking. God knows there aren't many of us left. So that's everything you need to know tomorrow night. Any questions? Just one. This kid Pete, why is he coming with us? My brother and his fiance's idea. They like to play it safe. In case anything goes wrong, he's the bunny. Charlie! You in there? Everyone's finished for the day. I thought you might like a drink. It sounds like what I need, but uh, there's one small problem. Will this solve it? Well, I hope so. Let's go and uh, slip into something more comfortable. Dog. Nice doggy, bro. Sit, Bruno.
Who's your father's friend? Julia. She's a receptionist from the hotel in uh, Steinbeck. His, uh, his latest. Young? Very. I'm afraid he won't be back till morning. Really? Just the two of us for dinner. I hope you don't mind. I couldn't think of a nicer way to spend an evening. The old man's on his way to town. The regular is clockwork, ain't he? We'll be ready in half an hour. Right. Look, I don't like the sound of it. Don't be a piker. It's easy money. Two hundred bucks each. Yeah, but what for? What are we getting into? Hey, what the hell? What are you doing with my ute? Borrowing it. Didn't Carol tell you? We're gonna have a bit of fun with this nutty neighbor. Pete's having second thoughts. Hey, it's too late for that, kiddo. We're all in it. I want to know what's in those sacks. Well, what do you think it is? Dynamite? Up front, Pete, you can drive. Not until I know what we're carrying. Best it. Sugar. Yeah, sugar. Now get in. We've wasted enough time already. Sauce not too spicy? I'm a man who likes a bit of spice. The dumplings? Melt in the mouth. to the loveliest little cook this side of the Malga. Over there. Tell me about your home, Charlie. Pardon? Your pastoral property in Queensland. Oh, that. I suppose it's very beautiful up there. Pretty good now. Hot, though. A lot of flies. What was that? Probably Bruno chasing foxes. Not your father come back? No chance of that. Nothing. Okay, start unloading. Brams. What are we doing? Whose place is this? Shut up and earn your money.
sure the dog stays quiet. He said he'd check the house. Bags up towards the shed. I want to get this done and out of here. Come on, we're moving up there. The blokes in this part of the country must be pretty slow. It beats me why nobody rushed you off to the altar. I was engaged once, but my mother died, and I felt I had to help here. Don't let's talk about me. Well, who else would I want to talk about it? Ingrid, I'm a man who speaks his mind. I don't believe in being backward and coming forward. Well, what the hell was that? I can't hear anything. I'll take a look. Be an excuse to get a bottle of that claret from Heinrich's special bin. I reckon we could grow another bottle, don't you? Call yourself a watchdog, you great log. Whatever it is, I don't like the sounds of it. doing with that? What's that? Quick, out of here! No time to explain. Stay here. I know you're there. Nobody move. They're here somewhere. But where are they? Come back, you sticky bastards! Right, Charlie. What? Oh, yes. Yeah. I'll phone the police. No, no. Why not? Well, we don't know who it was. Oh, we can guess. 
we haven't got any proof. You saw them. You must have recognized them. No, no, I didn't get a clear look at anyone. Besides, we don't want a lot of wallopers stomping about asking questions, ruining our evening. No, but it ain't been ruined already. Ought to be asked. Sugar. They are going to ruin our wine. How? Ah. It's against the law to add sugar to the vintage. All the sugar content has to come from the grapes. A natural fermentation. We were going to dump this in your vat. Mm. And we've had to throw out the lot a whole year's crop. I could have remembered that if we could prove it. But we can't, no way. England said there was a utility, so there'll be tire marks. Let's look for them. No, no, I'll do that. Uh, you'd better test all the vats. Make sure none of that sugar got into your wine. Call me if you find anything. And we'll get the police. You bloody young goon. Charlie, I didn't realize what they were going to do. I was conned. You are conned. You want your head examined. I'm lucky you can't shoot straight or there'd be nothing to examine. What are you doing? I'm trying to keep you out of the neck. Get rid of these tire marks before anyone sees them. We've got to blow through. Get out of here. Speak for yourself. I'm staying. But we've got caught up in some private fight. Who needs it? We've got enough fights of our own. I happen to have reasons for sticking around. Charlie! I see. Never mind what you see. Just you keep out of this. Find any tracks, Charlie? No luck. I think they must have used sacks on the tires. Oh, pity. Who's this? Uh, this is I'm my... I'm Pete. Yes, this is Pete, my young relation I was telling you about. Nice to meet you, Pete. Charlie's often mentioned you. He has? Yes. I imagine you're a great help to him on his property up in Queensland. Look, I'm afraid he can't stay. He's just off. Oh, I'm sorry. Goodbye then, Pete. Don't be long, Charlie. I've got breakfast waiting for you. What property? Get lost! You silly old sod, what have you done? Just push off. What's that? Only a bit of wire. Aren't you old enough to know better? Just you keep your nose out of my business. What? Some sort of cable. What the hell is that? It's a dial. It's a time clock. Otto Benson. What about him? Last night he was missing for a while. He must have planted this. The time clock, all right. That hand just moved. Yeah, and it's almost in the red area. Let's beat it. You realize what's at the other end of this cable? A bloody bomb. Yeah. Nice blokes you work for. Come away. Call the police. Now, where would you end up? You drove the ute, didn't you? Now, the idea is to take it nice and careful. Charlie, please leave it alone. You don't know anything about explosives. Says who? Before you were born, worked in landmines. I never knew that. Uh, there's a lot you don't know. We were called the Jelly Babies. Once we nearly blew up General MacArthur's headquarters. But he was on our side. I know, that's what he said.
We haven't much time. Shut up. I'm thinking. Come here. Got a five cent piece? Come on. Right. Hold it. Not me. Come on, you great dingo. It's safe. Think you didn't trust a man. Right. Let's take this back to where it belongs. Pete! Everyone's been looking for you. Where are the Bensons? Over there. Is this? Hey, for God's sake, be careful. What is it? Tell him. Get rid of it. Don't worry. It's safe. Your brother planted this to blow up Heinrich's place. I don't believe it. We've got the time to switch with his fingerprints on it and the tracks made by the utility last night. They've both been photographed. And Pete's made a statement blowing the whole gaff. You madman. So if you two ever try anything again, that evidence will be trotted out and handed to the police. I reckon you'll get six months, and he'll get three years. Now, remember that. Oh, now here's your bone back. You could have killed us. Stop complaining. Nobody's perfect. I know. You're not serious about staying on. I certainly am. I'm onto something here. She's a fine woman, Ingrid. Not in her first flush, but she's still got her figure, and she cooks a good dinner. One day, she'll own this place. A man has to settle down sometime. Might as well settle with an era. She'll own this place? That's right. My own booze factory. Nearest thing to paradise a man could pray for. Yes, sir. I've been looking for you. I wanted to meet Julia, the next Mrs. Bida. Hello, Charlie. The next Mrs. We are on our way to the registry office to do the deed. Then off for a honeymoon in Melbourne. Aren't you going to congratulate us? Congratulations. Oh, thank you. You old dog. I might even name the first boy, Charlie. Well, good luck to you, Heinrich. May you have lots of sons and the name go on forever. Oh, does Ingrid know? I'm afraid it was a shock to her. Maybe you will stay and she up while we are away. Well, I've got to be moving myself. Back up to Queens, then? We'll miss you. Goodbye, Charlie. So long, old mate.
Oh, Charlie. Oh. I've been looking for you. Hello. Where are you going? Look, Ingrid, the fact is, I mean, I wouldn't want you to be under a misapprehension. You weren't even going to say goodbye. Oh, I was. I've been searching for you. I had a speech worked out, but I've forgotten it. Yes? The thing is, I'm not a settling down type. I guess that you are. So it's better now than later. I am a rotten old liar. No, you're not, Charlie. Oh, but I am. I haven't got any land up north. Just a six foot two plot for when I snuff it. I haven't got any land either, now that Father's married again. Oh, but that doesn't make any difference to me. I knew it wouldn't. It's just that my sort of life, I can't ask, wouldn't expect. You see that. All things considered, you've had a lucky escape. Set seats, Bruno. Hi, Miss Swine. Yes? Who asked for your opinion? What changed your mind so quick, anyway? Thought you were going to settle down. I decided you'd be bloody useless without me. Somebody's got to keep you out of trouble. <laughs> Outsiders. We're gonna be the outsiders. 